number of areas, I guess, where we're involved. Uh, first, in, in terms of the K-12 system, with, uh, uh, we, we don't administer, well, we administer the funds, but we don't deliver the programming directly ourselves. We do that through, the, through an agreement we have with the school board. So we don't run the schools. The schools are run by the province through the school board. Uh, but we have uh, uh, a supplementary agreement with them for to to uh, to put different things, uh, innovative things into the school. So, uh, and, and it's a, an agreement we negotiate every year. Uh, so at, at the school level, we'll have um, two main areas: inoctitude programming, and that's from K to twelve. Uh, one piece of it is is Im an immersion program. Um, where, where everything is taught in Inuktitut. Uh, at the high school level, we have uh, high school courses uh, that are credited towards the provincial system. And um, so you can use them instead of French or, 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 or other courses. Uh, you can use them for graduation and, uh, and they're certified by, by the province. So, so, so we, we provide that funding for the school board to hire teachers and, uh, and we, we put funds into the system to, to have the curriculum developed. Um, I, I guess on, on that, that's that's part of the other piece we do with the school board is at, uh, what we call the life skills program. So that again, that's basically through uh, throughout the whole school system, and um, including high school credit courses. And uh, basically, what they do is they learn you know life skills. So it could be it could be sewing, it could be uh, uh, skin preparation, it could be hunting, it, it could be carving, snowshoe making, just different types of innovative skills. Yeah. And and it's taught across the board to to all to all the levels. All of all of our five communities. Yeah. Just just inside of our territory. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the other uh, the other area where where we have some programming is is I guess at the post secondary level, and what we've been doing over the last number of years is uh, is delivering um, well some diploma programs but some like early childhood education, um, uh, which was a program it, it was a provincially approved program but we've added you know components to them so we had an inoculated instructor for example and we've uh, incorporated you know ways of knowing and you know traditional val uh, child rearing practices things like that right yeah. um, uh, also at the degree level we've uh, we've delivered now through the university and the college we've delivered uh, Two social work degree programs, again geared specifically towards you know it incorporating inuit content, the inuit ways of knowing. Uh, uh, two for social work, uh, one for nursing, and we're now doing what we call our IBED program, which is our inuit bachelor of education program. And and in that one as well, we've infused an inuit uh, some inuit language instruction as well. Partnership with Memorial University and the College of North Atlantic. Yeah, usually the first part is uh, usually the first part of it is sometimes we have to do upgrading up front, so we would do that in conjunction with the college, and then the second when once we get into the university courses, that's in partnership with the university. The, the first social work we did uh, was social work as a second degree, and we did that with, uh, with St. Thomas University, and then the, then we did the Inuit Bachelor of Social Work program. That was the four-year program we did that with Memorial University. All the trainees, uh, all the students are, are beneficiaries of our of our uh, territory and uh, and the idea is really is to train our own people to work in our own communities with with their own knowledge. Yeah. I, I, I guess to me in education is, is something that starts at childbirth and carries on through till a person leaves this earth and uh, it, it's it's the it's the knowledge that you have and uh, uh, but it's your own knowledge and uh, your own ways of, of uh, uh, placing value on things and uh, and and the, also the way you pass that knowledge on so it's, it's just your your own way of knowing and and your own information and passing it on to your to your children or to your to your people. So it doesn't have, I don't think in terms of a K-12 system or a university, it's a, it's a lifelong learning process. And know, knowing who, who you are, what, what, what you're about, what, what the values are of your system. And then, you know, having a system in place that would teach it uh, in, in a way that, that, you know, it would understand it.
For the next 10 years, or, or maybe even a little bit longer, I, what I would like to see for our territories, I'd like to see us at a point where we have built enough capacity so we can actually run our own system, our own K-12 system, and our own early childhood education system, that we'll have information that we can share with parents for the earlier years. And um, and I guess at the post-secondary level, I, I don't know if we'll have our own university. I, I'm hoping that at the national level, we may have a, an Inuit university that we could share among the regions. It, 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 you know, we're not a large enough group, I don't think, to have one in every region. Um, but I, the other piece I'd like to see is is uh, is more uh, more programs at the college and university level that in, that incorporates you know traditional knowledge and you know, ways of knowing, and we're gradually getting there with that. It's taking some time. You know, the more program every time we deliver a program, it, it, you know the information is there and we can do it again. You know, so so as I say, we've done early childhood education, we've done we've done natural resource development, we've done uh, uh, nursing social work and education and the next one may be business administration a little bit more challenging on business administration to to infuse uh, uh you know with knowledge but we will put it in there it's 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 the way people understand things um and and having you know know you know part of it is knowing more about who you are and yourself so those pieces we can put in i guess when it comes to developing a good business plan it's it, it, you know there's not much you can infuse in that type of process, but uh, but wherever we can infuse in Inuit you know, ways of knowing, we'll, we'll certainly do that. You know? it, it is an area, I mean, education is one of the areas uh, within our land claims agreement where we have in our self-government agreement, because we have a self-government chapter in our in our claim, uh, where we can we have uh, this, under self-government chapter we have the authority over time to take down things like justice, uh, things like education, health, and social programs. And uh, even though we haven't, we're just starting to move on them. Our effort is really being to build build our capacity first. And once we get enough capacity, then we'll start uh, hopefully taking things down. Right? So we're 10 years, 11 years in. We haven't really taken anything down yet, but we're still, we're still very young. I think, I think the human resource capacity is one component of it. Uh, another piece of it I think is re that we need is more research on, 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 uh, on Indian education, even understanding the systems we have now and, and how well they're doing. I mean, if we want to make some changes, we, you know, right now, for example, in our schools, we don't really know what our true graduation rate is. You know, I don't think most schools don't know that. You know, uh, a, a true, honest way of of determining exactly what. You know, to me, uh, uh, somebody starting. You know, if we have ten schools, ten kids starting kindergarten, if nobody dies, you should have ten coming out the other end. And if, and if only five comes out, then you have a fifty percent graduation rate. But usually, the graduation rate most times they'll look at who enters high school. And if they come through, so they don't count the ones that are knocked off in grade seven and grade eight, right? So it's not a true graduation rate. So it's that kind of basic information we need, uh, uh, even on the Inuit side, on Inuit knowledge, we need a lot of research to document those things and put them in a format where we can actually teach them. You know, we can use elders and that's fine, but uh, we, we, sometimes we need more than that. So there's the research component. We need, we need a lot of work done on that area. So there's there's those tools we need, uh, you know, and I think that will come through through better partnerships. I think with with the colleges and, and the universities and, and institutions, research institutions. The only thing I would say is that what what you know, the last number of years we've been we've been getting more collaboration among the Inuit regions and uh, uh, and with First Nations, and um, I, I think there's a lot of value to that collaboration because I think we've been. Uh, you know, the internet has brought us a lot close together. It's made it easier for us to share information. But for many years, we, we I think we were all doing good work in our regions, but it, we kept it to ourselves. We didn't have a good way of sharing. So I think with, with the new communications tools like the internet, we, we can we can share more. And I think that's that's a big advantage for us.
Yeah. What has led to some success was some of our work at a secondary level of getting more people up to high school graduation. And then I think once we get them to high school, then we have a fairly good program for supporting students, our post-secondary student support program. It's a program that we took down, we've taken down from Indian Northern Affairs, so we administer it ourselves compared to most Inuit regions don't actually administer their own their own student support program. So we administer our own. I think the fact that we're doing it ourselves, is, I think has made a big difference. We have a, a quite a number of graduates that get through the program. Our success rate is quite high. Um, and I think it has something to do with uh, with the fact that we're administering it ourselves, so we can understand the students and what they're going through and what their needs are. So I think that that's I think that's an area we've done. I think we've done fairly well. I, I'll just mention one other little project we have that we're just rolling out now into the school system, and that's a you know history and culture course. So it's it's a, it's a history it's a history. And culture course uh, that specifically that we've 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 researched we've uh, we've developed ourselves and uh, it's it's a course where the kids can learn more about themselves and it's, it's a high school credit course for the grade ten a level two high school credit course that that's one we're doing now and we're excited about it. yeah we we we've we've, uh, we've uh, we have the material developed we don't have the book written the book is not well we have the book written it's not published so ho yes. hopefully within several months it'll be published and we think that w when we can roll it in our schools but we think there's value to sharing it with other schools with non non inuit schools and across the province so that other people can learn more about us and understand us better yeah.